Well, well. Ten, one more. Processors. Good day, everybody. Let's see what will happen today. So I got these boys done. That's all working as intended. And I think that's been that for this planet. So off to the next one. I think I've prepared now everything successfully I would and could need. There's only a few things that I want to grab. First off, I want to get rid of all that sulfuric acid. There's way too much in my pockets. Uh, is that even possible though, I ask myself. Well, the storage tanks are brim filled. Mm. Ah, wonderful. Okay. That's a lot of inventory space freed up. And wonderful. Unlock upgrade to make the solar sails last two hours. Yay. In the first time for this achievement. There's a first time for everything. Okay, well, we're gonna be needing a ton of machines. And solar panels. Hell yeah, solar panels. Iron. Luckily, I'll set up everything anew on the other planets, so... There's gonna be... A steady su resupply of things. So, iron... Hello? Ah, oh, there. Well, some mining machines, grabbers, lots of them, obviously electronic circuits as well. well let's pick up a few. just to prepare myself for what's to come. I mean, I won't stand a chance to be properly prepared, but, you know, never stop trying. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Let's soar away. 61 Orionis 2, here I come. Okay. Exactly on the other end of the solar system. But that'll finally get myself some, uh... Some fuel rods gone. Oh my god, these planets are close! Wow, that's a short trip. Not used to such short trips anymore. Cabela's it was way wider. Woohoo! What a contrast. From that volcanic planet. Oh crap. We can't just uh, fly back. No! Can I just uh, pick up a uh, autosave? Let's see. I forgot the solar panels. So, yeah, it all saved a moment ago, but I mean, my preparations sucked anyways, so let's redo that. Let's just pretend it never happened. Whoopsie! Whatever. But landing on a new planet without my solar sails is just a flat out BS. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. I did this in this uh, system to handcraft every uh, solar panel in the beginning because I forgot them already once. It's starting to be a habit of mine, eh? So, are the... No, I didn't even... Uh, ...re-pluck the... ...the processors in, eh? Please tell me that we are producing the processors already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I merely haven't uh, connected that yet. Ah well, that time I could have uh, as well sailed back to the planet. <laughs> Whatever. So, we're playing a little bit of a uh, repeating game here. So, one more time. Stone bricks, iron... Just want to have enough that I can set up a little bit of a uh, mining facility operation and some power on the other planet. Everything else, well, I guess we can acquire that on the, on our way. Okay, belts. Yeah. And now it should be okay. I mean, I I don't have an iron. 200 units of iron are definitely not enough. Let's make that 400. And now let's uh, get over to the planet. I mean, it's really close, isn't it? Well, it depends. There's a really, really crazy uh, short distance between these two guys. If their orbits ever meet like that. If they do. You never know. Okay. So there's no need to speed up like that, huh? 1,000 meter per second is all I need. That's pretty cool. That means uh, I really overkilled by a safe loading there. Flying over is not a problem at all. Okay, cool. No dive. Okay, so we got a lot of things to do here. So first off, where's the polar cap? Okay. Or am I gonna go for the equatorial uh, solar belt strategy for once? I could do that. I mean, I've never did that. This should be. I always find the equator line harder to perceive than. Ah, here. No, it ain't. So, I mean, I have no clue how many I actually got in my pocket. Don't even know if it's enough to surround the planet once, but I want to try it, you know? I always build my solar systems on the, on the polar caps so far. Try something else for a change. Hope that the amount of uh, solar panels is uh, sufficient. Well, we'll see about that. Worst case scenario, I'll just grab a couple of hundred more on the other planet. I got big plans for this uh, factory here. We have a lot of stuff to do here. So. Producing those gravity matrixes is uh, really a pretty, pretty big job. Somehow have the feeling that these aren't enough solar panels, but we'll see about that. How much is in, on the power grid yet? 31 megawatt. Okay. Wow. 
Well, I don't think that on my other planet I already would have enough new solar panels to redo the job. So, how far away am I from my goal? Oh. I'd say I have, uh... I've put up more than half of these, so... That's a good start. Oh, well... Do I? Or don't I? I do. I want to see how many we already produced there. I want to use my new options, you know. When I was um, building up my stuff at Cabelicid, I haven't had that many options and opportunities. There we go. Nose dive. Getting better at this. So let's see how many dudes we have produced already. I was hoping that the amount would be looking like that. And right back. Ah, uh, deuterium fuel. It's not quite antimatter yet, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Slow down a bit. And no stuff. Alrighty. So once I have solved that power issue, we're gonna start building. I mean, I guess why people like to build like this is mostly because it's very easily uh, computable once you've set up the whole ring you know how much power you have at any given time because there's not going to be any fluctuation anymore. Well, except for situations like these where I have to build around mineral node or such. first impression of this method is definitely that I don't feel that it's that much easier than building on the polar caps. But what I do feel though is that it can yield a lot more power than the other method that I was previously using. That's one thing that I definitely realize. I'm afraid I might be running out of solar panels yet again before I am finished. No, please not. Okay. Just wanted to try the uh, solar panel ring for once. Especially since I think that this factory will have a pretty uh, much higher strain than the other one. Yeah, we're getting closer, but we're not quite done. I totally underestimated how many more we'd need. But, well, right now we're at 52 megawatt. Now we're getting there. 
let's see how far our our buddies over there came. I know that's pretty uh pretty luxurious way of making your uh, solar system go. I did so much work on that other planet. Might as well reap the rewards. By the way, reap the rewards. Oh yeah, I, I, I figured that. For right now, burning crappy hydrogen. My power core was refilling so slowly. By now, hydrogen fuel rods feel crappy. My god. Progression. There once was a time when I was uh, stuffing leaves and wood into this uh, robot. should be really considering to uh, import these via interplanetary logistics. That would have been ide the idea, but well, now it's too late. Setting it up now would be silly. Don't want to do more than this one ring there. If I remember correctly, this planet had a pretty crappy solar power efficiency, too. Look at this uh, dim star. Sorry, little fella. Okay, I can't really fly faster right now. But I'm pretty sure that this uh, delivery of solar, uh, solar panels should be, should have been enough. And the other thing is that feels as if it's going to be really easy to uh, to resupply myself here in this uh, run. Okay, while on the planet, I prefer the hydrogen fuel rods actually over the hu the uh, deuterium ones, simply because we don't need them, you know, on the planet. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Buddies, we're off one grid. Ward mission. I think if I hold... If I chain dismantle now, I'm afraid that I'm dismantling the entire ring. That would suck. Better not. I highly doubt that this would happen, but who knows? Certainly not me. I think now we're back on track, right? Yeah. Mm, I can see the end of the line. Alright, pretty satisfying strat, gotta admit. So, total power, 53 megawatt. But if I remember correctly, this planet had a 81 person solar energy ratio, so. Huh. Well, the last polar cap thingy I built had also 53 mega. Did the planet have lesser solar efficiency? No better. Okay. So that does make a lot of sense then. Okay. Oh, let's have a sip of tea. and start thinking about our factory. Oh my god, I'm standing right next to the thing that I want to have. The organic crystals are the the specialty resource of this planet. Usually you have to craft these guys, it's totally complicated. Not here. So, let's see. The long-term goal of this planet is to produce these uh, fancy guys. We already set up a pretty nifty logistics system on the other planet to produce high quality goods that we're going to be needing here but there's a lot of stuff that we have to produce here directly so for the quantum chips i have already pre-produced pre the processors but we're still going to need the plane filters titanium glass and casimir crystals that's that's the big two things okay the Casimir crystals are really brutal because we're going to need a hydrogen production from hell 
seriously, we're going to have a lot of work in, in front of us to get that job done. And yeah, well, let's see. Organic crystals were necessary for the production of titanium crystals. So here we're going to produce our titanium crystals. Is there any titanium node in the vicinity? There's only 357k of titanium on this planet in total, so... I want to know, where where is the titanium vein? Miles away. Okay, so we're definitely going to import the, the titanium. That's the easiest thing. I already got titanium ingots on the, uh, on the logistics chain. Alright. Now. That means... I should really start with the plane filters then. Uh, I mean with the with the uh, titanium glass. So we're gonna need glass, titanium ingots, and water. Well, that's as easy as it could get. We're gonna start out with a stone this deposit. This is then. very personal. Bela, hi there. Thank you so so much. And well. I sadly can't say that's a good day for me today. I woke up with a terrible headache. Right now, I'm, well, not feeling really great, but the good thing is I'm feeling okay while gaming, so I decided to to share my, my time here with you guys while I'm preparing for the next bigger steps. So where the hell is the stone? I've only seen one deposit so far. And although all the tests we had were negative, I, I have a strong hunch that our family now finally has a visitation from the good old COVID virus, because we just are now like one and a half weeks already downed, and uh, we're all vaccinated, so all the tests go negative, sure. But the symptoms are pretty much where, where, where you would um, suppose them, so... The summary of my situation is meh. I wanted to do so much more last week. I had uh, I wanted to do more tutorials. I had so many ideas, but well, uh, gotta delay that. So that's where I'm at right now. There's stone. There's oil, but there's 1.6 million stone. That's only 900,000. Where's the where's where's the rest? <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something else. I'm just looking for something which is not in the, directly next to the poles. So there's a spiniform stalagmite crystal vein deposit. That stuff's a pure carbon nanotube. Freaking love it. We even have two of these deposits here. Well, let's go to the... Uh, ah, here it is. There's the missing link. Okay. So, stone, coal, titanium, copper, iron, silicon. Ah, that's the valley I was looking for. Now I just need to walk along the belt, or fly along the belt until I find the stone. That's fine. Thank you, Bella, thank you. I hope so, too. I'm really being annoyed by uh, by the way I feel right now, too. Like, every, every movement is a, is a pain. I just uh, emptied the dishwasher and I felt like I was doing a super heavy chore. At least my head's still working out decently. That's the biggest relief so far. Nothing sucks harder for me than uh, being mentally uh, downed as well. You know, when the noggin doesn't work anymore, that's the worst for me. As long as I can't think, you know, I can endure pain and uh, feeling bad and all these things. Mm -hmm. Goes and comes, you know. But if uh, if thinking and and planning and all these things don't don't are fun anymore, oh man, I hate it when it comes down to that. All right, so I yeah, I tapped all of these. All right, so tight. Oh, let's let's think about ratios for a second. So we're gonna be needing. A entire quantum chip, basically. That's the plan I was uh, working towards, too. I already set up two processors per second on the other planet. We're gonna need two plane filters per second. That means four units of titanium glass per second. There we go. Now, now we're getting some numbers. 
So we need four glass per sec. This doesn't sound too hard. So one smelter, 0.4 glass. That means, uh, yeah, sure. That means we need uh, 16 smelter smelters. It's, well, it sucks. Uh, well, I got the smelters, but I sh surely don't have the necessary coverage here. So that's only 11 units of stone. We need 16. But we gotta start somewhere. So we're definitely gonna set up two smelter arrays for this job. Because I think that's the most efficient way to do it right now. This way I can just combine the glass on one FOSS belt. Alrighty. Power up them boys and see what we can do. Okay, so that's 11 units of stone per sec, I said. That's a sucky ratio. Well, so we can only bring up 10 smelters, but whatever. That's okay. Then let's start with 10 smelters. They'll produce 5 units of glass, so we don't need to put that on top of a Mark II belt, but I'll do it anyways. First off, Mark II belt is faster. And the other thing, I want to combine that onto a belt which transports 8 at some point. Mark 1 belt only transports 6 items per second. I, I don't like to have to think about where does that type of belt end and where does that type of belt start? Am I still on the fast belt or am I already on the slow belt? I hate things like these. Just, just tier 2 belts. All the way. Okay. Eh. So. That's a feature I recently discovered. You can just drag and drop these machines. I felt quite stupid as I just when I discovered it. Stupid because I made my life a lot harder with no for no reason at all for such a long time. Okay though, that's the first part of our glass production. Since I have no clue where it's going to go. Let's go for the uh for the map one more time. So the uh, other stone deposits are towards the other pole, aren't they? Ah, oh, look at that. That's really close. Nice. All right. So we're going to go down there and repeat that procedure. But I'm going to go for a little bit of a teensy rope operation here. Got to tap that belt or some uh, stone brick in between, because that material, you don't want to craft that by hand. Super annoying. Way more annoying than crafting these uh, coils and stuff. And since we're needing tons of uh, melters here still, I'm running out of copper right now. So, do I go for a hop, or uh, not? Well, I'll do. I got the necessary fuel, and, uh, you know, it's just that easy. By now, at least. You know, interplanetary travel was kind of a big thing in the first system, but not anymore. Let me get over to the other factory planet, please. Although I feel like with this system I have made a pretty lucky catch. Planets are pretty close to each other. First system I was in had uh, larger distances between the planets. And here it's a pretty it's a pretty snobby thing to jump over to the other planet just for a couple of uh, copper bars, primarily. I mean, I'm gonna grab other things now too, but... 
the copper ingots were the primary interest of mine. Yo, dudes, are you actually that busy, huh? My god. And there I thought I could steal some copper here. But them boys are all busy busy. I think I only have one copper mine on this planet. Well, since since we run the the processor factory now, I guess that's just where Oh god. Now that's not a <laughs> Uh Yeah, let's upgrade that to conveyor belt mark 2. Oh, such a crappy oversight. Mm. Good thing that I hopped back here. Production wouldn't have worked. There's a too slow belt there. No, it ain't. There was a teensy section of uh, conveyor belt that wasn't upgraded yet. Oh man, that sucks. Now I'm a little bit paranoid that other uh, areas might have the same problem. Let me let me give give it a little check. Luckily here you can. Just hold down shift and uh, check out if there's any problem on the production line. But no, seems to be an oversight that only happened once to me. Ah, goody. So, is it worth something? Look, sure, if it be your jam, but I've been playing Alina the Arena. Well, um, yeah, I, I actually uh, asked the developers for a key for that game, but they didn't respond. Yes, I catch that. <laughs> you know, watching the computer game market is part of my job, but I'm really happy that you guys shove things towards my way. So you like it? I was really hoping that the devs would come back to me, but they didn't. They didn't like me! Ooh, okay, that should upgrade my processor production by a ton. And uh, let's see, I got some copper ingots. Iron ingots are pretty goody too. And steel's pretty good too. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Oh man, good. It's actually really worth it that, I, that I'm here. You know, there's another thing that I made. We're producing four of these boys per second right now. Anybody who has played Dice Sphere program per will say, knows that this is uh, this is sexy, you know. Four titanium alloy bars per second, that's when you start to feel like a big dog. Playing in the big leagues now. And I need to export uh I need to export sulfuric acid too. Okay, we're we're gonna stay here but for a moment. There I have found some things that I need to do before we can leave, actually. Nice. So, let's go all the way back here. I like that spot. Okay. Yeah, I see. Typical uh, early access... Uh, Laws. Great game, just not finished yet. That's uh, something I I see quite often in the in the game uh, scene. My personal uh, favorite in that uh, in that regard is um, Gordian Quest. Once that game's going to be finished, it's going to kick ass. But it's not going to fin it's not finished yet, and it's not kicking ass yet. Therefore. So, sulfuric acid. How much sulfuric acid I'm going to probably be needing. So, graphene. Graphene, graphene, graphene. Every unit of graphene needs a third of that. 
So, well, well, let's bring up a couple of the water pumps. I don't know. Let's make six of them. So we're going to have a uh, total production of six. Why am I out of engines and why is that a problem? I guess because I'm out of magnets, eh? If things like these start to be a problem, it's usually because you're running out of magnets. Eh. Well, I'm always worried that these uh, games that aren't are great but not finished yet are not finding the attention that they deserve when they are finished, you know? Or that the uh, development studios go stranded in the time between. Lately I've seen so many ambitious and really cool projects fail, breaking my heart, you know? Or just flounder for, for years. That's another thing that I've seen happening quite often too. So, one, two, and uh, three, four, five, six. So we're not gonna make more than that, or are we? Ah, whatever. We're no poor people anymore. Let's make nine. Creating nine units of sulfuric acid anywhere else is a true pain to achieve. I like this planet for this uh, kind of luxury it offers. Now, I'm out of splitters. Make it stop. I want more splitters. And I want more electronic circuit stuff. Where is it at? There is it at. Boom. Well, if, you might, if you're uh, talking about the... Uh, the letter from the devs about what they're planning to do with ACS2, then yes. If there's anything new, I haven't seen it yet. And I'd be happy if it had been shared on the Discord. <laughs> well, as far as I know, ACS2 is going to be a fundamentally different game than the one we're playing, we've been playing with, with Part 1. And I'm not sure if the uh, this is such a good idea. I mean, the people really love what ACS1 did for, for them, so... On the other hand, I gotta say, kudos. I, I really love when devs don't get uh, single-minded and stay on the same things forever and ever henceforth. So, could be good, could be bad. Deco, hey there. Iceland Sphere program is amazing. This is very personal. Thank you so much. I appreciate. And welcome back, month three, man. Three months of support, you already... Thank you. Time flies, guys. It's amazing. Alrighty, so let's skip drop down here. I personally find uh, Dyson Sphere Program a visually much more appealing approach to the whole Factorio business. That's one part, and the other part is... It's much more streamlined, you know, not not in the bad way. Like, uh, building belts is easier than in Factorio. A lot of things are a lot easier than in Factorio, and I appreciate that. And it's not in the way that it's dumbing down things, it's just a different genre. Here you produce energy out of stars, in Factorio you, 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 you do crazy tech and science. Here you want to achieve as much power as possible out of your Dyson Sphere, and all your efforts will, at some point, go towards optimizing your Dyson Sphere. Factorio has other menus. I really like it. Like, I really appreciate that the devs did something clearly inspired by, but not a blatant rip-off that tries to be just better than the other game. I love it. That's how, how cool games uh, are, are made, you know? It's not a competition, it's, uh, it's about diversity and inspiration, of course. So yeah, kind of totally recommended. And uh, it's, it's so well localized, you almost barely realize that it's made in China as well. Like, uh, I don't want to sound mean, but localization is one of the 
biggest issues of Chinese uh, game development studios, that and um, user interface development. I'm just honest, you know. Alrighty, so sulfur acid exports. Bam! <laughs> this uh, interstellar logistics station is already filled with different jobs. So, I'm gonna be putting up a little bit more logistics vessels there. Is it easier than Factorio? Yes. Yes. It did streamline a couple of things that made that Factorio made a lot harder. So a, a simple example here, there can be only one type of item on, on a belt or, well, no, the belt is not divided in a left and a right, uh, right side like in Factorio. Like that alone is mind-boggling about Factorio, that you have a left and a right side on each belt, and it's fun to play around that. But really don't want to um, make it sound like it's a bad feature, but it's a complicated feature. It's a really complicated feature that the that that feels a lot like an entry um, barrier for new players. You have no uh, complicated train logistics in this game. The interstellar and the interplanetary logistics are a breeze. I I I instantly understood how it worked. I had no troubles in setting it up whatsoever. A lot of things just click in this game, and it's the, the big. But it's not that that it's feeling dumb or easy or something like that. You still have a lot of uh, processes to to run through. There is a ton of different products, and setting up a strong Dyson sphere does need insane amounts of pre-production that you have to string together via factories and different planets and such. It's it's pretty. I love it. It's really cool. We'll see how ACS is different, but personally on paper it sounds cool to me. In a way, I wouldn't want ACS to be the same one. Yes, yes, yes. Totally agree with you, Bella. Um, especially since I, I wouldn't know what they want to add into ACS if they'd try to just expand the game. Seriously, more expansion? No thanks. This game is already vast like the ocean. I don't need even more expansion on top of that. Thank you. No, I think uh, ACS2 has a pretty strong venue. It, it does knock on the, on a similar door like uh, Tale of Immortal. And I'm a little bit concerned that these games might go into competition in a bad way. But then again, well, I think these guys are smarter than that. What I personally think. We'll see about that. Alrighty. Easy to overcomplicate things in Factorio? Well, it's always easy to overcomplicate things. Also, here you can't overcomplicate things, but Factorio has a, uh, a, a pretty mean way of uh, forcing you to build pretty complicated logistics structures. A lot of people, for example, totally um, lose their uh, shit once it goes towards oil processing, because that's the first time that the game forces something on you that you have to um, process in a more complicated manner. In a way, I think the um, the best way to, uh, to describe it is um, Factorio is a bit more demanding from from the player's side, whereas this game gives you a really easy uh, entry point, but you'll get kicked out of the door at some point if you're not into uh, in, into complicated uh, production chains and such. There is a point where you will most likely feel like, oh, okay, that's too much for me, and then you're not going to be playing the game that much longer, because seriously, if you want to build a fat Dyson Sphere, oh my god, there's a lot of things involved. But if you just want to play a small, uh, a sm the small game, you can do. In any way, I think you get a lot for the money. DSP is pretty, pretty cheap. It's a really cheap game. So... And over the sales pitch, I think I made my point. So, um, there was a stone factory that I needed to tend to, to somewhere down here, if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay. Now, oh, I need fresh Teslas.
Well, I'm really looking forward as well to a more completed version of Tale of Immortal. I'm still staying away from it because I don't want to burn myself out. But if these dudes get the job done, it's either going to be super boring and I don't want to play it anymore, or it's just going to hit the right spot. I can't tell as, uh, as of yet. But I mean, I, I read a uh, design manifesto from the... from. Or no, uh, some some dude ga gave me a random comment exactly on my on my one of my videos, and he was like, he's even surprised that people that are not from China are enjoying uh, Tale of Immortal because it's so deep into the whole uh, mythology that even a lot of people in China don't even get the references because they're not uh, because they're not um, high enough in education to know that uh, that history stuff and all. I was quite surprised about a statement like that. First of all, the arrogance again. Just kidding. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. So... Games like uh, these confuse you at times. Don't be too surprised. They are that weird. Okay, I'm piping out the, the stone a little bit uh, out of the polar region because smelting in polar region sucks. Not because it's cold, because the curvature of the plant is really pain in the ass. Recent updates are pretty cool for Tale of Immortal. Modding support. Ooh, that sounds nifty. Okay, how much uh, how much do we produce there? 7, 15, 21. Sums up to 10.5 units of stone per sec. So, for the sake of simplicity, I hope I can just uh, copy that blueprint. Oh, there's one more thing that I, I just have to add when we compare Factorio and DSP with one another. The controls of Dyson Sphere program felt a lot more organic to me. I don't know. I had a, a severe struggle in getting uh, together with the controls of Factorio for some reason. Maybe I was getting into Dyson Sphere, though, easier because I already learned Factorio. I don't know if I have a false impression there. You know? Logistic games and builder games can be quite overwhelming when you're new to the top, so I really can't tell. But I got the feeling as if um, a lot of things here are way easier to control for a newbie. That's something I really wanted to point out because I, I enjoyed that a lot. Alright, so... We got the class. Mm. First step to uh, grander. All right. Put that over the uh, solar panels. But nevertheless, I can't wait for the. Uh, or the expansion of Factorio that has been recently more or less really officially announced now. Can't wait for that. Because Factorio really holds a special place in my heart, but I do have problems in finishing mod packs in Factorio. Finishing the regular game was a really cool experience that I enjoyed thoroughly, but the mod packs really uh, melt my mind. All right, so that's the necessary glass for the titanium glass. Titanium ingots are going to be in imported, so let's uh, let's make those imports happen, hey? So, where will I produce that stuff, and where do I want to have the import logistics uh, live at? So, this valley here. I don't want to put in anything in here for now. 
I think this looks like a pretty decent crafting spot. Yeah, let's do this here. I tried to get into Satisfactory Deco, but um, it's it's one wonderful example for get this game done and then I'm going to check out if I, whether I like it or not. For now, Satisfactory and me have one big problem, and that's the lack of... Um, of overview over the situation being inside your factory does in does mostly feel like a downgrade and not like an upgrade for me because it makes things way harder to manage but it really played f smooth it was fun I, I enjoyed my first uh, experiences with the game but I felt like I want to see where they go once it's done and don't overplay it until it's done It's been my uh, uh, thoughts so far. Remote demand! I have to look at it. I just love it when those little dronesies I fulfill my demands. Here we go. Just me. Alright. Titanium ingot. We're gonna need lots of that stuff here. So I'm gonna be... Dropping it into a box for redistributional purposes. Or do we? Nah, not necessary. We're just gonna put it on a splitter. I don't think that I need more than 12 units of iron, of titanium ingot per sec. And if so, it's easier to just set up another, uh, another belt from the logistics station. What I did like about Satisfactory was the... Uh, very lovely detailed um world they created it really look it really feels vibrant and alive and and cool just can't put it into different words than cool okay so um turns out i didn't want my glass there the one output into this direction. It's just, uh, I just decided that I'm going to craft over there. So let's craft over there, you know. And I think I'll redo even that. This, this uh, direction all of a sudden looks way more appealing for, uh, to me. So now they can just meet. And run alongside each other. There we go. Graphically it's stunning, but I agree. I want an option to overlook things. It's hard to think big when looking inside the factory. Exactly. Exactly. And when when big ratios are asked from you, I don't know, I can't imagine that it's going to be fun to walk through an efficiently planned factory. It's only fun to walk through a crap shoddy um, build factory, but who actually wants a crap shoddy build factory? We want a big ass factory. We want a good factory. One that's impressive. And therefore, that's something I don't know how the how the devs will deliver in the end, or if they even deliver. We'll see about that. So we're gonna need an assembler, and we're gonna need four units of water per se. I really hope one day I'll have a more efficient water pump. I mean, I haven't started working with proliferators yet at all. It's something I should change at some point as well. What I personally dislike about the water pumps is simply that you have a hard time um, consolidating their output. They always need a A splitter cross like that to actually get their uh, get their outputs together, you know. But well, some machines have their kinks.
Basically, Satisfactory is a game that I really, really, really want to love, but I'm afraid that it's gonna be a experience where I'm like, meh. Other games do it better. It's an act. It's more of an action game than an actual builder game, but it's still pretty cool. That's what I kind of like expect. In my worst case scenario, in my best case scenario, uh, they'll just blow my mind and surprise me with something that I haven't seen coming. We'll see about that. Titanium glass. We're gonna be needing. Oh, it's a production cycle of five seconds. Oh my god, we're needing ten machines then. Or per se but also we'll get to divide these numbers all with five so it's a input ratio of 0.4 per sec per machine <sighs> dear ones all the way or wait a sec not maybe not all the way i think the last machine could have troubles with that but 10 machines that's a quite long uh thing to go for so I think we'll have to expand our belts here a bit. Grand Strategy Games? Oh man, I want to play that new DLC from Crusader Kings so badly. I'm gonna hop in as soon as it's uh, there. I only read it yesterday that it's going to be released in a couple of days and I was like, yay! Because that looks like the first major expansion to Crusader Kings which will make the game majorly kick ass way more than before. I, I really I really can't put it into different words. I'm pretty hyped. I mean, Paradox Games, they always did great jobs with their uh, with their DLCs. The only problem is their games grow costly as hell due to that. But what can I say? What can I do? This stuff is really good, you know. <laughs> So 0.5 per trip were saved. We only need 0.4. You can stay mark one sorter. Ah, such a trusty little friend. I built so many in my factories already of these. Okay. Titanium glass. Ten of each. So let's see. Oh man, this is such a this is, for example, something I love the game for. It's so freaking easy to do these things. Factorio makes it hot on you. So here, one, two, three, four, five. Two, four, six, eight, ten. But I know the devs of Factorio, they'll just uh, develop their game even further and better. That's just what they do. I love it that there are so good builder games out there these days. Oh crap, I forgot the uh, the exit uh, grabber. But luckily, you can just do the same thing here. And it'll add these little guys for you. That's features I love about this game. It removes a lot of the uh, tediousness and uh, annoying moments that builder games sometimes have on me. I gotta say, this is actually even one of the best Chinese games that I've ever played. I didn't expect so much when I uh, asked for a key way back, way back when. I only got on, uh, got hooked onto this game because I was uh, doing the ACS things, and it's the same developer, devel uh, not developing, uh, the same publishing uh, company behind it. They're doing DLC subscriptions now, okay. That's an interesting system. Would love a CK3 tutorial. Mm, yeah. Deco, I'm working on these things. Um, I merely didn't pick it up before because my channel was that small that titles like uh, Crusader Kings 3 have pretty strong competitors for me as a content creator. And I tried to break into that market and I was totally shoved away. Totally. I did the same quality of content I usually do, but it didn't find any recognition at all. That's where I figured bigger games need bigger channels. Well, we're at 10k subscribers now, so I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl again. That was one thing I was really sad about. I, I really dislike it when, as, as a content creator, I have to back down because of eco economic reasons. That really sucks. So. 
we got the first part of the plane filter is down, but that was uh, truly the easiest parts. <laughs> ACS too hype. Guys, it's an entire year. <laughs> we'll have to do other things in the time between. So I'll I'll refresh my teak and I'll also see the toilet for a sec. Catch you guys in a minute. Okay, there we are again. So, that's going to be a long, ro long road till we succeed with that stuff. So altogether, we're going to need one titanium crystal per second. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. We're going to be needing two units of graphene per second. That's also going to be a pretty easy thing to do. But we're also going to need 12 freaking hydrogen per second. That's the big part. And I'm going to start with that because graphene needs energetic graphite. We're going to pr produce that stuff as a, um, as a site product. So let's see, we will need oil. Lots and lots, lots of oil. I haven't uh, proper, properly prepared myself for that. I just realized that we're gonna need so freaking many oil refineries. It's gonna blow my mind. Okay, we need steel. Well, we also need to create particle containers in the long run. Do particle containers in any way need steel? No, they don't. Because graviton lenses need strange matter. So, thank you, Deco. That's so nice of you to say. But I think there's other people doing great jobs, too. ECS 2 being more like Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode is pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting what, uh, what they'll do out of ACS 2. But I totally appreciate the devs going for, for new things. Stuff that's not scratching the same uh, box again. It's really good. It shows me that these guys are really about, um, are really interested in creating something new and interesting. So, the super smelters need unipolar magnets. If you are the least little bit into uh, physics, you know how, how crazy that is to talk about unipolar magnets. And these dudes, they also need a rare material to be built. That's crazy. I have no clue. Quantum printing technology? Well, that's the only thing. The tier 3 assembler is the only machine that doesn't need any uh, rare materials. What a relief. 
What can I research next? Solar sail life? We can go for the next technologies there. Hell yeah, let's kick out the other ones. Or, yeah, vein utilization is not anymore possible. I, I was afraid that would be the case. More vertical construction? Hell yeah, I mean, why not? So soon we're gonna unlock the maximum solar uh, sail life. Pity. All right, I think the queue must be full now. Quality of life. Oh, man. Those oil seeps are deep. Wow. That's a lot of oil. Okay. I didn't expect that much. So, well, let's get started. That's going to be a big job here. I think I should really uh, publish the two streams I did in preparation uh, of the next episode. Because that's just so much that we're doing here. So here, technically this would uh, satisfy eight refineries for a moment. But because, uh, but because that number is uh, lowering, we're going to make this seven refineries. Luckily, I have already that many. Hey, Azura. Welcome. Happy to see you, man. Hope you're having a nice Sunday here. So we're, we're going to need tons of oil refineries. I just realized how freaking many oil refineries we're going to need. So... Eh, off to the other planet we go another time. I need to pick up some steel. Alright. So far, so good. Love to hear that. Me, I'm still feeling a little bit ill, but beyond that, everything's super good as well. Enjoying this game a lot. I really played this a, a ton lately. The other thing I was playing a ton lately was Under Knots. That's a brilliant JRPG, just a freaking high price tag of 50 euros, but it's, it's actually that good. It's very old school, very uh, it's grid based, old school, and uh, scratches my itches as a uh, old school gamer a lot. And it's also Japanese horror. I love Japanese horror. Okay. Go. Probably gonna stream some uh, under knots later too. If not later, then another day. Another day. Okay. So oil refineries. We're out of stone bricks again. Well, luckily, I'm producing some on the other planet already. But let's grab the production of stone bricks from here as well. The amount of um, of oil we're oil refining that we're going to need to do to reach the 12 hydrogen will be unworldly. Where's my stone? There's my stone. But I'm hell-bent to produce one green cube per second. And that's what we're going to do. Hey, where's my stone? I thought I had this there. I have a little bit of a... Ah, here it is little bit of an operation running where I produce a couple of uh, stone bricks for me. Okay. So I really need to uh, watch out that I'm not burning my last deuterium fuel rods. If that happens, I could easily get over to uh, Cabalicid and uh, pick up a couple of new ones there. I should probably see how stuff's working out on the other factory one day soon again. Alright. With that kind of material, we're really set to uh, 
hopefully get the whole thing in motion there. Oh. That's the other place where I can steal stone from time to time. Oh god, I'm out of plasma ciders. Now things get really sucky. Ah well, but once that's done, we have a couple of uh, refineries after all. But since I want to do x-ray cracking as well to get even more hydrogen out of the whole thing, probably gonna be hard. Anywho, let's get this going. So, in this area, we're definitely going to be working with Tier 1 belts, because nowhere we're going to have an output that's uh, high enough to justify Mark II belts. Now, input and output. Copy pasta. So we want seven refineries, I said. Cut the remaining belts that we don't really need. So here in this scenario, we're only interested in the hydrogen. So let's check out how much hydrogen does this facility actually produce. We get one per sec out of each four. So that means we're at 1.75 so far of 12. <laughs> oh God. So I can take one unit of uh, oil and transform it into another unit of hydrogen. Yes, I can do that. Okay. This will be a little bit complicated though. Only at the first glance and only because you need to put the hydrogen in to the machinery. So, with the current situation, let's see, it's 0.5 hydrogen per machine. We're not going to do x-ray cracking directly next to the uh, facilities, no, 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 no. We're going to allocate that uh, stuff and do x-ray cracking on a different site. That's smarter. Here we have another oil seep. Honestly, now that I look at it, I'll rather refine into this direction. Whoa. Oh no. Planet takes a takes a curve there. So. Let's see if I can just uh copy that. Let's take the six don't do that though. No, I need to just handle that first. So that's going to be six, but this place here is actually huge, so six are only three per second. We can bring up three more. Let's just hope it'll work. As simple as that, but I'm not sure it will.
Yeah, well. So, eight. And yet another one. And nine. So, this dude here, uh... Here, things went wrong due to the, uh... Yeah, okay. That's where the system uh, meets its, uh... Its problems. But, I mean, it's been a lot faster than hand-building all of that, you know? So I don't want to wonder about it. On the topic of this... this Pathologia. I really admire people that are uh, translating these things uh, for us. For me, they are the real heroes nowadays, you know. Translating all that Chinese goodness for us uh, Westerners. That's a really uh, slick move, gotta say. You know, back when I was a kid, it's been, uh, it's been all about uh, translating Japanese stuff. Nowadays, it's more about translating Chinese stuff. Things have changed, you know. Things have changed. Okay, that's gonna be the oil tank. And that's gonna be the hydrogen tank. I really think that... This is going to be a huge um, undertaking here. So... But I also think that this is the easiest way of managing my fluids here. So we're going to do put up a similar system over here. And I'm starting to run out of iron again. Jeez. Okay, so... Let's see. We'll have to unify oil over at a different place. So we can move it away for further refining. That's gonna happen here. But for the remainder of the time, I'm totally down for uh, collecting the oil for now. Transporting it away later. Okay, where do I have the hydrogen? I mean, <laughs> this tag here is a joke. It's most likely not ever going to be uh, used. Because I'll highly doubt that I'll have a... Uh, a production of that stuff would, which will uh, even fill up a tank. For me, that's a cooler version of a splitter for uh, fluids, you know. Okay, so... Here's the oil exit. There's the hydrogen exit. There's the oil. So... I guess I'll need a couple of extra fluid tanks here. But I'm quite serious about it. These uh, the uh, fluid tanks they have a they they have a very similar uh, job like uh, splitters. That's what I like about them. I really should consider setting up a little bit of an iron and a copper mine here though. So that so that I don't have to fly over to the other planet every time I need a couple of ingots. Right, that's the oil. Oh my god, good thing that I noticed that these were wrongly connected. Okay, so...
and then we'll have to calculate how much that is and how much I still need. And then I'm going to pry. No, whatever. Here I'm going to use a splitter. Convenient splitter. Mostly because he's smaller than the other dude. Okay. If you keep being that bad, I can't help you. Okay, so let's power them up and then start calculating. Yeah, Bill, I've seen both of both of these games. But well, I haven't had the the mind to try them out as well. Especially when the localization is not uh, not done yet. That's going too far for me, you know. Tesla overkill! Luckily they don't cost you any power, even if they are standing in a pretty crappy position. You're kidding me? Ah, oh, now I see what, what went wrong there. They are not properly connected. Poor thighs. Are we done now? Jeez. Okay. So, first part's done. So, we now have a total of... Here's seven, here's nine. That's 16 factories working for us. How much does one factory produce there? So we're producing four units of hydrogen per second right now. And I'm producing eight units of oil per second right now. So if I'm not mistaken, that should be really enough to actually kick, kick it uh, there. So many games, so little time. Yeah, you don't say. Imagine now that I'm a full-time content creator, and I feel the same. <laughs> That's the worst thing about it, man. It's just exactly the same problem on my side. I, uh, I wish I had more time. Can't really put it like that. Okay, so we're now going to do magic. So, with that amount of uh, oil, we should be easily able to put up the necessary hydrogen to get the ball rolling. So, X-ray cracking. Transforms one unit of oil into one unit of hydrogen. And... Let's see. I said I'm producing four units of hydrogen by myself. So, we can facilitate eight of these dudes in that regard, which is going to transform... Let's see... It's only going to transform a small portion of all that oil. If I put up eight facilities, I'll have only transformed... Two units of oil per second? Oh my god, we're going to need so many... Ugh. Oh. I need to quadruple that. That's why I'm looking this, uh... Desperate. 
So, plasma exciters. What did we need for that? Prisms? And magnetic coils. Yeah, I don't have the necessary amount of refineries on me. I will definitely take a look, look on Lost Ark. <laughs> I mean, it's being released on my birthday. I don't know if it's actually going to be worth it, but I'll definitely gonna give it a try, you know. Okay, Oil Refining Madness. So I got four units of hydrogen to spend. That means I can bring up now eight of these facilities, which will result in six units of hydrogen to spend. And the next column can be even uh, wide. Can even can be even wider than. That's so bonkers. Okay. So we're going to. I'm going to make this like that. So the per sec intake here is half a unit of that and a quarter of a unit of that. So it's all Mark One grabbers. Okay. Yep. It's probably one of the craziest things that I've built so far. Oh, the curvature is uh, kicking my butt again. So I said it's eight facilities, isn't it? Each of these processes is uh, kicking at is taking half a unit of uh, hydrogen per sec, right? Right. Okay. So yeah, hydrogen production is a pain in the ass. My god, I, I didn't think it would be that brutal, but it's even worse. So here the planet is noping me out even harder. Now that's looking funky. Alright. And we need grabbers for the other side. So handcrafting... Uh, is starting to be a problem here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, crap. So... We're gonna need eight, though. That's the problem. And I'm out of resource. Okay. Let's get back to the volcano planet and see what we can do. Especially the thing with the uh, plasma exciters is uh, really um, troubling me a bit. So... Basically, what's going to happen is that I'm going to put this hydrogen back onto this belt and let the uh, oil belt run until there's nothing left anymore. And this graphite I'll be using for other processes, but one thing at a time. Let's uh, go up, up in the way. By the way, how's my power pro um, profile so far? I bet when this uh, whole thing is working uh, full motion, I'll not have enough power there. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's rainy outside there. So, let's see if I have any life signs of the family. Just general happiness about the dishwasher situation. Spiffy. And nosedive. Bam. Okay, so material wise, we need. We need those plasma exciters. So. Let's produce some here. I totally, uh. I totally missed these dudes as something that's really important. So. Let's see. How's my magnet production? As far as I remember, I've uh, I've overdid it with the magnets a bit. There's my uh, magnetic coils, but that's all just uh, untouchable, you know. So here's the magnets rolling. Let's see. I just want to know where they go. But if I remember correctly, I have so many magnets that it shouldn't be any issue to just uh, produce a couple of plasma exciters on the side. I mean, ideally, I should actually mass produce the um, these uh, oil refineries now that I think more closely about it. That's definitely something that I'll prepare for the next time I want to go for this milestone. It's one thing I'll keep in mind for the next time. So, let's utilize this place, because it's pretty comfy close to the other place. Exactly. Doesn't make sense what I'm saying, it will in a sec, no worry. Now, plasma exciters need two prisms per sec if I really go this now. We're not. We're just gonna produce a couple of smelters here. No! Jeez. I'm pretty much out of everything right now. If you even have not enough magnets anymore, you know that you've been partying hard too much. Alright. Let's produce a handful of these. Just enough to uh, get some basic production rolling. I think I'm really gonna be doing a automated production of oil refineries for me, because the more I think about it, the more it feels like a uh, logical thing to do. We really need it. We really, really need it. Three of them, dudes. I don't even need a uh, a, a super quick production of uh, of oil refineries. It's just gonna be such a relief if I don't have to manually produce all of them anymore. So, let's go upstairs with that stuff. I love it that going that that far up with your uh, belts doesn't cost you anything. It's just the thing you can do if you wanna. I 
there's one thing bothering me here, nevertheless. Just realized that. I actually got no interest in uh, transporting the glass all the way down, uh, down there. Let's make this uh, the prisms, you know. Prism, 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 prism does need three units of glass per sec, so one assembler is enough. At least with the amount of stuff I produce right now it is. Check. War tail and five dollar. Crazy. I already got a gift on that though. It's another of these games where I felt like, wow, crazy good early access, but we're not done yet. Show me what you got once you're there. But not gonna lie, it's looking really, really promising. War tails, looking like a really cool game. these dudes on the splitter but if anybody else has the has the urge to, uh, to spoil himself with wartail I think that's as cheap as it will get alrighty magnets and what do we need for these suckers Copper plates. Well, I actually did a mistake there. We don't need that. Let's keep that splitter nevertheless, even though it's entirely useless, but I don't mind. Maybe I will put some use to it later. So... Wait a sec. This is also unnecessary. All these unnecessary acts today. No. I'm just gonna drop down a little facility here. Or yeah, here. Perfect. And we're just gonna grab a couple of these dudes. And produce what we need here. One trust developers than do. <laughs> Dang it, me wrong, but there's uh, there's way more cool and trustworthy developers out there than the other way around. I give you one big tip though: just try to avoid triple A uh, companies if you want trustworthy uh, developers. It's that brutal nowadays. I've seen yesterday, I watched a, uh, a video about, um, I watched a review of the latest uh, Settlers game that's going to be released soon, and oh my god, I, I don't know when was the last time I heard somebody use so many uh, words for finding something awful the last time. Gamer gate shop. Is that legal? Because if it's not, I, I must say, please don't share these informations here. But I guess all these shops are nowadays legal. Even if they get their uh, product from an illegal source. So, we'd need steel bricks and all the jazz. No chance. No, no chance at all. Nah. My facility here is not ready for that job, and... Uh, 
We're just going to produce plasma exciters as long as possible. Yeah. I mean, I really don't want to know what the hell these dudes are actually doing to get uh, these um, these offers online. Because I, I really have high doubts that the acquisition of these keys is fully legal. Somehow these these keys can't be acquired fully legal for, for these prices but as far as I know the, uh, the distribution and the sales of these things are altogether fine sometimes it's just a regular uh, promotion action from the developers too but sometimes I feel like how the hell can some some websites have a permanent uh, discount on these uh, on these gaming keys I wonder if there are uh, content creators out there who are selling their promo codes. It's my personal, um, it's a personal punch of mine. Of course, not all the uh, codes can, uh, can originate from such dubious sources, but I was wondering if that isn't a uh, thing we could do there. But that's just me. Spinning conspiracy theories and all. Don't mind me. Alrighty, so I think for now I should be able to work with that. I got nine oil refineries on me. We're producing one more. Grabbing a couple of plasma exciters here. But there's one thing I want to grab, and that's some iron ingots. Let's head back to our uh, to the sunny side. So this is the this is the bad uh, trip. This is where we have to really travel a long trip. There. Let's see how long it'll be. Soaring past the sun. I'm so, I'm so tempted to slap down a Dyson Swarm on top of these two. Bam! Sometimes I wish there would be more of an impact when I do this. Oh! Oh dear. Take it back. Uh, my inventory is full. No. All we need to do is handcraft a couple of uh, oil refineries again. Alright. Oh, so. Where's my uh, oil stuff again? Ah, here. G2A and it's honestly worse for devs than pirating games. Since most keys are bought with stolen credit cards. Oh god, that sucks. Yeah, cyber criminality nowadays is uh, something else than way back when, you know? Alright, so let's do this. We're, I said, on. Um, when I want to do x-ray cracking for, for for a production of 4 hydrogen per sec, I need 8 refineries. Yes. So. Six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to uh, dismantle the uh, the grabbers here because I want to build them manually. And I just hope. <laughs> no, we can't. Damn. All right. So this uh, process line 
does end here, obviously, and we're gonna continue it somewhere else. Yeah, building at polar regions. Oh, come on, seriously? Damn. Okay, so, well... I guess... It would work if I'd string the output lines differently, but... Uh, I really took a bad spot for that. Yeah, let's reconfigure the output lines. It's the best I can do for now. God, polar regions are annoying to no end. Not the place you'd, you'd go for large-scale expansions, for sure. So, let's see, that's... Uh, So it looks like this is uh, still working out decently, so what I'm going to do is I'm I'm taking the part that will work. I mean... And... Let's just see. We can't expand on that. But that's no problem. I just want to tweak in the, the remaining piles somehow, but don't think that's gonna be possible, hey? Whatever, we're just gonna put in a splitter here. I hate it when that happens. Sometimes when you have already clicked, the game's like, no, that doesn't connect. You were wrong about that. And then you move away the cursor too early and uh, the item gets placed somewhere else. So, my plan here is a quite simple one. We're just gonna be working on this side then. So... And the rest of the uh, production will be put somewhere else. Well, pirating games, I guess, was uh, only... Only, uh... I should I say, the beginning of the story, um, Bella. Like, nowadays, the, uh, the people that were um, doing pir software piracy way back when realized by now that uh, regular software piracy doesn't work anymore so they had to find new tricks and new venues that's at least my uh my assumption you know criminals are always evolving okay and now we're gonna use an upward spin Because I have plans. Right. So that's where our hydrogen will flow. to connect the energetic graphite somewhere.
Okay, so now after my black uh, oil cracking magics, what is this change now? We have now put up, we've ma made now six hydrogen out of uh, out of four, and we have to repeat that one more time. So if I use now. X-ray cracking is behind me. Piracy for personal use is still very much a thing. Devs have come out and said they, they prefer piracy, piracy over key resellers. Since with resellers, so yeah, that's true. Well. I think uh, piracy for personal use always has been something uh, something completely different there. A lot of developers I've uh, met in my time were even like, yeah, you know, before people can't play my game because they can't afford it, they'll rather play it for free and make good uh, advertisement for my game. That's how a lot of developers also think about piracy in a way, as long as it's only for personal use and not for resale. Okay, I need a short break. I need to see the loot and I need to refresh my tea. I'm gonna be back in a flash. Now, where were we? So I did some calculations right now. So to to do X-ray cracking now with the uh, six units of um, hydrogen that I got, I will need twelve more refineries because every refinery uses a quarter of that in a sec. Or no, 0.5 in a sec. Let me just check. Oh, my roof is off. So, 0.5 hydrogen per second consumption. Mm. Okay, what was wrong? I read that wrong. Or did I? <sighs> no, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I was not wrong about that. No, no, no. It's still true that every facility only uses a quarter of oil to transform that into hydrogen. Yeah. 
Oh no. There's something missing at home. Okay. So right now I've got eight facilities. That means I'm transforming two units of oil into two unit, new units of action. I'm bumping up my production to six per second. Yeah, it is that bad. So, now I'd need to see back to Cabelicid, check out why research is stopping. Oh well. It's not stopping. I bet some resources running out. If I'd have to take an educated guess, I'd say oil. But I don't know. Mm. Chocolate refill. Fresh rain power reloaded. Ow. I wanted to grab these dudes. I'm all excited for the plasma dudes. Hydrogen <sighs> cramming my inventory. Seriously, I can't pick up all the exciters now because of the stupid hydrogen. No! It's so annoying. Especially since you can burn that hydrogen directly in your fuel tank with ease. These things I'm not using anyways. Alright, if I haven't uh, counted wrong, 24 are all I need now. Let's see. Let's see about that. There's only one thing I know for sure. Next time I'll be using proliferators for that. Because proliferators can upgrade the amount of product you get out of one production cycle. And I was like, I don't need extra products so far. It's uh, it's not that necessary. But now with uh, these uh, with hydrogen, oof, it's such a pain to produce that stuff. Next time I'm gonna roll proliferation strats. Okay, so I know that the hydrogen on this belt and the oil on this belt are enough for the next twelve refineries, but there's one thing I want to make sure that we're not going to be working in the polar region any time again, because honestly, this whole thing was mostly so annoying because of the uh, curvature of the polar region. Without that, it wouldn't have been nearly as, uh, nearly as bad. So, X-ray cracking madness. The worst part is, after that, I need to do another 12. And then, finally, I'm there. The gamer dude abides. Hello there, my man. Hope you had a good time so far. And welcome. Solar light sail life level 5. By the way, solar sails. How's the solar sail situation at Cabelicid? Yeah, well, not that spiffy. I mean... It's basically just uh, just been an experiment about launching solar sails, but, you know, we successfully launched 3,600 right now. 
There's way more than that. I just did that as an experiment. You want to watch Dyson Sphere while playing Dyson Sphere, that's a wise choice. But I gotta say, I'm pretty much a rookie in this game at least. Not a single playthrough so far, not a Dyson Shell so far, but still enjoying myself a ton. Okay, since I don't know how long this will go, but I mean, I did, I did my, uh, I did my Factorio tutorial. I launched a rocket in Factorio, and now I feel like builder games like these or factory games like these don't shock me anymore. I know that's a little bit bullshit what I'm saying here, but just wanna make sure you guys know where I come from. So, X-ray cracking. We're gonna be. Do I need more of them? Let's see. This is 0.24. No. We can easily do with these dudes. So. Power it up. I'm not sure if that's <laughs> right. I had a short uh, grabber confusion. Fortress Craft Evolved. Never heard that. Ah, picked the wrong recipe here. But yeah, the grabbers are working. For me, I was starting out with Pectorio. Pectorio was my first uh, factory game in that regard. Okay, so once you are no longer on the polar curvature, this uh, stuff sucks way less. So three, four, five, six. Okay, we need even more than that. Room wise, okay. It's fine. Am I working with more two belts here too? Alright, let's power them up. We're almost there. Oh man, my resources are really shitty these days. Okay, so... Now we'll have to reunite both uh, hydrogen streams, or all three of them, I'd say. Because we're going to be using all of the materials there. And I'd say here I'm not going to be using the splitter, here I'm really going to be using the, the, the liquid tank. Or will I know? It's, it's, still, it's still splittering, it's okay. The tank will be at the, the end of the journey. Okay. That's that. Let's bring the energetic graphites together. Oh, jeez. I'm running out of... Uh, I'm running out of tier 2 belts soon. Ah, man, I was just on Volcano World. Okay. Now, where can I place down the same madness one more time? We're gonna find out. Let's go poppy. Make a spiffy little blueprint out of that. Use now. And... There's an oil seep in my way there. So. 
I'd say we're going to be using this uh, one here. There. Just want to leave enough room to eventually mine out that thing, maybe. Uh, collide with our other object? Which one? Tell me, tell me. Why can't I paste it down right now? Collide with other object? That's a blatant lie. Okay, so there's no collision. Yeah, you do you. I'm not in the mood for arguing here. It's been even older than Factorio, 3D Minecraft style Factorio. Wow, that means it's been basically something like a predecessor even to Factorio. Cool. I only knew that Factorio was actually meant to be something like a uh, like a Minecraft mod, or that's at least the story I've been told. That Factorio originally was meant to be a Minecraft mod. But then things went a little bit overboard. So, just the lack of a couple of grabbers. There's a lot of games in this genre right now, yeah, that's true. Well, Bela, I think uh, that's that's also cool that people started to love watching factory games instead of playing them their, themselves. I think that's a nice form of participation. For me, I, I was watching them until I had no other choice than playing them myself, you know. Because I was so hooked with all that uh, gameplay that I just had to do it myself. Okay, so that's 12 freaking hydrogen per second, and I want to never ever do hydrogen again, and it's just a low number. Ah! Oh! Okay. I'll have to think about things about the hydrogen production in the future. Lesson learned. Because that's absolutely not feasible in the long run. It's just not. It's all nice and dandy now that I have that sick production there that I'm going to be using just for meager production of, I think, uh, one item per second. Don't even want to think about that, actually. But yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to go. So, I have now, what, 24 factories with x-ray cracking, plus 8, so I got 32 factories with x-ray cracking. Now, let's check out how much energetic graphite I actually produce. So, 32, I said. That's a whopping amount of 8 energetic graphite per sec, just out of this stuff. Why aren't I proliferating my oil production? Because I um, have not seen any reason yet so far to do proliferations. This is literally the first uh, production chain that I feel like it's it, it would be worth it in a real way. And I it hasn't been part of the game when I was uh, learning DSP for the first time. It's been a pretty new feature and I was literally only waiting for something where I was like, yeah, that's totally worth it. That's that's pretty much it. And yeah, that's uh, exactly my thought, Gamer Dude, that I felt like, man, I really need to proliferate that stuff next time, just so that I have more um, hydrogen production with less uh, pain involved. I mean, it's it's there. This planet has 13 mil million coal. But I personally think you just have to learn your lessons before you can be smart, you know? If that makes any sense. But thanks for the pointer. This shows me that you're thinking exactly the same like me. About this topic at least. 
So that was literally the last time I I, I did this like that to myself. Why X-ray crack for hydrogen, not the gas giant? Um, which gas giant? Your bell is here. <laughs> which gas giant are you referring to? <laughs> I don't have one here. But this planet has uh, 74.5 oil per sec, so I came up with the uh, plan there. I would do um, I would do that as well if possible. The um, as a matter of fact, I feel like I I really will do this uh, differently in this. I imagined it. I didn't imagine it that badly. Basically, yeah. I really thought that things wouldn't be that large scale. I really thought it would be a little bit smaller. And once I knew what I was doing, basically, I I was already lost, you know, and couldn't stop myself anymore. So we got tons and tons of energetic graphite. We're gonna be using that for. Diamonds, I think. Yeah, we're gonna be needing diamonds. Alright, let's calculate that a bit. Two planets orbiting the gas giants, third not far out. Well, I have a gas giant on my home system, but my home system does not have... My home system has about one million silicon, and that's it. And the entire system, that's just not kicking it. That's why I went over there. Okay, calculations. So... I've came up with the hydrogen and I totally forgot forgot what I'd need that for. But ah yeah. For the cosmic crystal. So yeah. That's That's now off the board. But there was something I need energetic graphite. Ah, here, graphene. Exactly. So with the amount of uh, energetic graphite I'm producing on the side, I can now facilitate like nine chemical facilities and just forget about the rest. Let's do this. Sir, we need to import the acid. Please deliver the acid. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Such, such a good system there. Okay. Now. I can't already set up the, the rest of the logistics here. No biggie. I'm pretty sure, though, that nine chemical facilities will be a bit of a problem here for my scrubby old self that hasn't set up a mall ever anywhere yet. It's my first attempt of playing through this game, so I'm not that uh, hard on myself. Yeah, just like I thought. We're out of steel and out of stone brick. Mm, that's okay. Let's get back to the volcano planet. Stupid fruit flies here. Some stone. I need to get rid of that energetic graphite too. It's just clogging my inventory. But so far, I really enjoy what I learned out of uh, out of the runs so far. Can't wait to finally get to the green cubes. So I decided to do to create the green cubes entirely on Orionis, and mostly because I felt like it's going to be a lot easier. Out of green cubes, we can create warpers for our uh, space fleet. Fleet. It's basically warp fuel, and uh, otherwise I would have to produce warpers here just for the fleet. And I was like, come on, before I'm producing warpers just on their own, when my next goal is green science, nah, let's just keep on it. Because you can just uh, use those uh, green cubes here and transform them into warp cores. That's brilliant. It's such a good and efficient recipe. It's, it's insane. You get incredibly good re uh, returns on that. So, I've got more than enough plasma exciters, so we don't need to grab anything there. If they orbit the gas giants, aren't they moons instead of plants? <laughs> yeah, that's true. My starter planet in that regard is also a moon. 
So, chemical plants. Well, I'm gonna pre-produce a lot more of these dudes. Safety precaution. I already know that we're gonna need tons of them. So the next attempt there will be definitely a proliferated uh, hydrogen production. I'm not gonna do that to myself again like that. Let's see how com how much I can compactify that. But for for now, I'm just gonna leave the system as it is. It works. It might be a little bit inefficient, but all my starter setups were a little bit inefficient after all. Maybe I'm a little bit fast. But all this is basically all just preparations for my next YouTube episode. <laughs> so I did like now six hours of gameplay in between episode 13 and 14. Whoops. But I always feel like when I'm doing a YouTube series and games like these, it's so hard to record them if there's uh, nothing new happening. Sure, the x-ray cracking procedure would have been something worth recording, but do I really want to record something only to say, don't do this like I did? I don't think so. So, let's create graphene and lots of it. Mm, man, this is... Uh, exciting for me. And I forgot to bring the bells. <laughs> Don't you love it when you just come from your uh, supply spot and realize that you, you forgot something you came for? Everybody loves that. Yeah, the solar panel equator. It's the first time I've, I did this. Usually I did my uh, solar panels around the polar regions, because basically uh, the polar regions were quite similar, you know? But it, it really depends on the on the way the, uh, the plans and rotations are working out and all. The, uh, the solar panel equator has one big advantage. It's always the same power production at all times of the day, no matter how the planet is... Uh, Hinged now. What's the word for that? You know what? Hand. I wouldn't know how to call it in German, but whatever. Pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, I said nine of these dudes we can do. Aligned. Thank you, Cal. I do minus three white strips. Yeah, gamer dude, I'm not that far in yet. I had I haven't had the production. I had to do three leaps to my other system to um, get just the the panels for one for one uh, for one orbit. And now I don't think I have the I have left enough room for that. But maybe we're just gonna do a uh, solar swarm or something like that. I mean, I got crap tons of uh, graphene. I mean, solar sails, ah, they need these, uh, these lenses, photon combiners. Problem about photon combiners is they need glass, and stone is quite rare in the system. Yeah, well, whatever, let's see. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked again. So how much graphene will we produce out of that? Not much more than six, definitely no six, so we can put that on Mark 1 belts. Good. At least something. So we're needing one unit of graphene per sec and a third of a sulfuric acid drop per sec. So 
gonna do a combo of different sorters here, and that's a third of a graphene per sec. What I really love about this game is that it works, uh, the ratios in this game, I, I don't know why, but uh, calculating ratios in this game is a lot easier for me than in, in whatever it was in Factorio. Five, seven, eight, nine. I don't know why that is, though. My wife said this game's uh, recipes look more uh, look more sorted, and it's easier to understand what you're supposed to do. Ah, well. I I showed her uh, Factorio recipes and this one and th this games, and she doesn't play neither of these games. It's always good to ask somebody who's not inclined into these games, you know. It's where you get an unbiased opinion from. Am I talking about the Axis? Well, uh, gamer dude, I, I'm not, uh, I haven't built any uh, malls yet. I'm, that's uh, pro probably the reason why I have, haven't uh, built that many solar panels yet. Until I started factoring in the assembly machine speed. Yeah, well, my trick was I totally ignored the uh, assembling speed of the Mark I assemblers. And then I waited and I just pretended as if I had the uh, Mark II assemblers already, calculation wise. And uh, well, when it comes down to the Mark III assemblers, well, I haven't done my calculations yet. But since they all produce 50% more than the other thing, they all the all the inputs uh, will climb by 50%. That should be easily computable. The Mark ones are crappy as hell to uh, calculate. Yeah, I calculate always for 100% efficiency too. Everything else just just gives you a knot into the brain. But I think uh, with the T of three dudes, I will uh, I will calculate them in again. But I mean. Factor of 1.5 is a lot easier to compute than a factor of 0 0.75. Like seriously, you don't want to do that. But beyond that, yeah, a lot of this uh, this is by far the most complicated thing the game does to you. Well, let's loot a couple of circuit boards. So, uh, sorry, Takahiko, I, I I somehow don't know what we're what you were referring to when you were talking about the act. Um, Probably the axis of the planet. I think we were talking about the alignment there, and uh, yeah, what I wanted to say was the polar regions are. If the planet is exactly straight aligned, the polar region is uh, perfectly working like the equator, with one half in the sun and one half in the night. Like you always get the same energy out of that, but that's not the case if the alignment or the axis of the planet is not in the middle. Access is the word. Thank you, Takahiko. Now I think you understood and understood what you wanted to say. Just build it all 30 per second, mark three belts, max belt up. Yeah. <laughs> One day. <laughs> I'm um I'm not that far yet. I haven't built a single Mark III belt yet, okay? But I am building the the super magnetic rings here on this planet. Get the job done, you know. So begin there. I consider myself still a small-scale engineer. But I keep saying that time and time again. There is nothing sweeter than the time when you're still a noob in a game. And everything is fresh and exciting and... Things are not feeling as tedious and joyful yet. Because there's no uh, repetition of things and all. The downside is that you often suck at what you're doing. But that's pretty much the biggest downside there. The game they are calling that orbit inclination. Thank you. Now I know the game's term for that. Die. Bam. Okay. So back with fresh materials. Dude, where's my factory? 
Well, I can't wait to reach the uh, level of proficiency where I'm I'm going big and all uh, and always there. But well, I'm quite happy with uh, how things are going these days as well. So tons of graphene. I'm really considering whether or not I should go for solar sail production here. I mean, the Dyson Swarm would fix a lot of my power problems in that system. Definitely. Although the system is quite sucky for, uh, for Dyson Swarming in general, because the sun has only an 0.88 efficiency, so... But I mean, it could be worse. But it still could be a lot better, too. So, why are them dudes not featuring any inserters? Where are your grabbers, good sir? That's a decent graphene production for my terms. That's uh, like, let's see, we're now at 5.66 or so. I mainly did this to eat up all the uh, energetic graphite production that comes on uh, up there. So, to make sure that the production doesn't stop, because this is one production line that I don't want to... Uh, Halt here under any costs. We're gonna start stockpiling the graphene a bit. Until I know what I'm going to do with this stuff. Well, we're going to need that for the Casimir crystals, but only a fraction of that. But as a matter of fact, I'm almost there. Oh my god. I only need to fix up the titanium crystals. Hell yeah. Nice. Look at me. We're, uh... Oh my god. I did a big mistake there in my calculations, didn't I? Yeah, we need to double that. We need double the amount. <laughs> well, that's a good, re a good reason to put up a proliferated uh, hydrogen production for once. Wanna die? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, that's only 50%. Well, I really need to uh, wrap my head around the whole proliferation thing a little bit more. Because I, I think I'm giving away way too much there. Especially in the higher tiers of recipes, I should use that way more. Yeah, Bella, you, you are, your plan is to build a uh, a as efficient as possible Dyson Sphere, or a Dyson Shell. Yeah, cue ball. Exactly. The luminosity of this place here is um, not that good. Here, 0.88. I mean, it ain't terrible. But I think, uh, considering what we still have to do here, it might be actually not that much of a dumb idea. I mean, How the hell am I supposed to produce that much uh, hydrogen, huh? <sighs> There's no real other way around. Can't see. There's only fire ice, but um, we don't have access to that. There's no gas giant here in the environment which I could use. So, proliferation it is. O-type are the best, I see. Well, we go out here into my galactic little cluster, which are O-type. Ah, here. Ah, yeah, here. 2.4. <laughs> okay. 
That's a different luminosity scale. Is there any uh, particular drawback to these systems, Cubo? Like, uh, are they uh, bad in any other aspect? I mean, this uh, this looks like uh, just a uh, like just a good thing. Oh my! Oh my! So, what happened to the production here? So, yeah, we should infuse, we should put that hydrogen from this line also into the other line. Yeah, and it's time to go back to Cabelicid and, uh beat the beast a bit there, as it seems. So, ah, there. It's, it's even easily doable. Gotta say, this is the first time that something is a little bit more complicated in this game. Getting out there without warpers is a pain, but can be done. Hmm... I see. Well, I mean, judging from what I see around this uh, system, and I think I only got one O-type uh, star, I mean, if we check out this its neighborhood, it has a lot of systems around it, so it shouldn't be that hard. Without warpers, why should anybody do that? Nah, well, to be there... Hmm. Okay, I can't understand it. But how long do you drift around in space then? Jeez. Must be ages. Alright. So, all in all, we do seem to have enough uh, hydrogen here. So, I'd say what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to set up half the, uh, half the equation, basically. It might be that I can't only satisfy 50% of that recipe yet, but setting up another hydrogen refinery right now is, for one, pretty masochistic, and for another thing, I don't think it's that extremely necessary. Spiniform! Oh man. So, yeah, you just get it, Sam. <sighs> Fire Ice would be really badass. Casual two years IRL drift to the other sun. Nah, it's not that long. There is an achievement to travel without warpers unlocked. Okay. I hate it when the devs are standing behind you being like, Do it! Do it! We made an achievement for it! <laughs> Alrighty, so organic crystals, we got so freaking many here. It's even a joke to put up that many mining machines. It's absolutely unnecessary overkill from my side, but you know what I like to say? There's no kill like overkill, so let's do this. So that's going to be enough organic crystals for the remainder of the run, I bet. Okay, do I have any titanium deposit in the vicinity? That would be dope. But I don't think so. Nope. So where's the next titanium deposit? I mean, we don't have many. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Let's not even bother, hey? So, here, out of the map, I just realized that I don't need to, uh, I don't need to do Mark II belts. I know here's all Mark II belts now, but let's do the rest with something less uh, material consuming. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, we created those by ourselves the last time. Alright, that's going to be a long belt. This would have been enough for a planetary logistics station already, but, you know, I hate to put up planetary logistics only for one good alone. You know, drone carriers just for one item. You know. I mean, the cool thing is we got a crap ton of graphene to work with without even tapping into a single coal vein. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. But at the same time, we really need to get some hydrogen going. I really wish the game had some recipe to create hydrogen out of water. That's really lacking. You know, there's literal water lying around and I can't create hydrogen out of that. That feels so wrong. Get my idea? You see? In a chemical in a chemical way, creating hydrogen out of water isn't the uh, I mean it ain't easy, okay? Don't get me wrong. Cool hydrogen out of water does take a lot of energy and whatnot. But it ain't impossible. Not even nowadays. So, feels bad. For these, I'll need two units of titanium crystals per sec. Two units of titanium crystal per sec will need six units of titanium ingot and two crystals. No props. That's all the job for the tier one belt. Check the message here real quick. Oh, well, family's coming home. They're on their way home now. Oh my god, that's gonna be a really, really huge uh, thing still ahead of me. I was uh, for a moment uh, foolishly thinking that we're almost done. But, no, we're not. I mean,. I still have to create particle containers and a lot of other things, but luckily we're slowly getting there. Because to create, I want to create the green cubes here, and to create green cubes we also need the graviton lenses. And guess what? These need, uh, well, a insane amount of that. Like strange matter is one of the worst things uh, out there to be produced. I don't think I need to be that worried about that. Before I can get up a production of one strange matter per second, I have to worry about completely other things. You know, a production of uh, one strange matter per second would require me to, to merely produce something like 200 hydrogen per second. That's all. Easy. We're working on the uh, interspatial drift uh, achievement. I mean, I I'm not miscalculating that, am I? You know, I need, uh, for one strange matter per sec, I'm gonna need 10 deuterium per sec. And five deuterium per sec are being made by, oh no, it's 20 hydrogen per sec. <gasps> okay, I had a miscalculation. 20 hydrogen per sec isn't, uh... no, it's uh, 200 per sec. It's not 200 per sec, it's 20 per sec. I miscalculated that. Or, wait a sec. Two and a half sec. Yeah, but it's... Uh, it's ten units transform into five. And uh, twenty units transform into ten in the course of uh, five seconds. So that means I'll need five particle colliders to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. 
we're not gonna be producing one Casimir crystal per second because I actually don't need it. I'm nowhere near close of uh, consuming these crazy numbers realistically. Good. It's always um, it's always important to to think out to think things uh, out fully, you know. Because before you realize it, you're uh, you're overbuilding like crazy without even needing it. But I really gotta check out the proliferation process the next time. I'm sure that I can do this uh, with a lot less. Or the same with a lot more output. Either way, I'm, I'm wasting something here. Especially on a planet with 13 million coal. I really should try out proliferation on this planet. It's basically asking me to do so. Noise. If I remember correctly, for the tier 3 proliferators, you need uh, carbon nanotubes, isn't it? Or was it graphene? No, it's carbon nanotubes. You know, I can basically mine carbon nanotubes on this planet. The spiniform stalagmite crystals transform directly into uh, carbon nanotubes. Yep, this planet wants me to do this, definitely. But back to the actual things. Eight assemblers are need now. So, titanium crystal goes this way. We only need a 0.75 per sec from the titanium. So that's not going to be any issue whatsoever. So... I think I'm overproducing titanium crystals with that, am I? But whatever. I'm okay with the, the fact to prepare my industry for one cosmic crystal per sec, because sooner or later we'll need that. Only because I don't need it now. Does not mean that it's, uh, it's a waste of time to set it up for later. Oh, did I forgot to... Let's see. I did. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Alright, my friends. I will turn off the stream right now. Because family's back home. Want to say hi. And besides that, it's almost uh, three hours already. I can use a break as well. After all, I'm not feeling that You're well welcome. either. You're welcome. Thanks for the follow, gamer dude. I appreciate. And have a nice Sunday, you all. And to everybody who's interested, there's a YouTube series for this gameplay also. So this is all the preparation for the next episode that I've been streaming. Check you all. Uh, we'll see you all later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.